In this video, we paint the contents of the Cthulhu box from Simon's Death May Die. Right, I'm going to start with my airbrush and hit it with the black primer all around. I'm going to put a little flow improver in there so that it gets down in all the recesses. Then the plan is to hit it with a 45 degree angle with the gray primer with a little airbrush thinner. And then I'm going to hit it from the top with some white ink with a little bit of flow improver mixed in. And this is what it looks like after I hit it with that Zenithal Prime. And this is a terrible shot. I'm gonna do it differently later on in the video. This is my first kind of long complete video. So trial and error folks. We're gonna do some underpainting. I'm gonna start by deepening the recesses with some Agrax Earth Shade. And this is anywhere where I want some detail to pop out or I want to uh, push the contrast. And uh, I'm gonna try out some split screen for all the underpainting stuff. If you don't like it, I s turn it off when I start actually laying down some colors. Again, just fiddling around, seeing what I like doing videos. Let me know what you think. Gonna start pushing the contrast in the other direction with some highlighting. So I'm gonna grab this gray and I've been using makeup brushes lately and been enjoying that. And this is gonna be over any of the areas that are black that I want to make sure that the details are brought out and that it only remains black in the deepest recesses. All right, and now I'm gonna grab white and we're gonna do the same kind of thing, just hitting all the details. I used a larger makeup brush to kind of hit everything and then I went back in and grabbed a smaller brush to differentiate certain details that I wanted to pop out more. All right, after that first round of dry brushing, I'm gonna go ahead and take my white paint and put a little glaze medium in it to thin it out. And I'm going to be pushing the highlights around the face and the shoulders and some of the upper tentacles and all that kind of stuff that I want to pop out, especially more than the rest of it. All right, now I'm just gonna go back and kind of repeat all those processes with the gray and the white and some highlighting until I am happy with the result. And here's what they look like after all of the underpainting. The plan now is to go back to the Eric brush and glaze some of this dead flesh over by diluting it with quite a bit of airbrush thinner. And the plan is this will preserve the undercoat. And this is what it looked like. And I think I actually glazed it too much and the underpainting didn't shine through to the extent that I wanted it to. But we're gonna go with what it is that we have. We're just gonna push the, or I, I'm going to just push the contrast a little bit more with some shading in a bit. But here's the base coat all done. All right, my plan is to use a 
complementary or contrasting color scheme. So we're gonna grab this magenta, mix in some glaze medium. And this is what I'm going to use on all of the tentacles. And I'm just gonna glaze this on over many thin layers to try to get some interesting transitions between the green and the magenta. And I'm not gonna do all of the tentacles on Cthulhu. I'm just gonna do kind of the ends of it and, uh, and the tips and all that. I'm also gonna put a dab of this into all of these pustules along the back and shoulders to try to simulate them being kind of like open sores. The star spawn, we're gonna hit all the tentacles coming out of the mouth, the inner mouth guts, and a little bit of the webbing. And since this portion I didn't actually do with the green glaze, the zenithal came through and I was really happy with the effect of the magenta on the tentacles. The brush I was using was way too small, so I came back with a larger brush, brush later for subsequent coats and it really sped up the process. All right, here's after a coat or two with the magenta on both of these guys. Pretty happy with how that came out. And so I'm just gonna kinda keep repeating that process until, again, I'm happy with the result. All right, claws, toenails, bone protrusions, and wing thingies are all gonna get this uh, warm white bone color. Gonna add a sepia wash to all of the bone stuff. Gonna grab a higher value magenta and this is what I'm going to use on the eyes. And uh, I'm also going to use this to highlight up the tentacles, but I'm gonna make a glaze and we're only going to do it on Cthulhu proper. Look, I just got the letter on Friday and I didn't know how to tell you. I took some of the magenta glaze that I was using on Cthulhu's tentacles and I'm gonna just put some of that in the sockets to simulate a little bit of eye glow. I'm still not very good at this, but I'm practicing and I'd like to give it a try. I spilled over a little bit and had to come back with the dead flesh and uh, clean up some here on the star spawn. It went better on Cthulhu. I also took some of this and I put it in some of these uh, recesses near the spine, kind of like the skin was stretching out and some of the blood underneath was showing. Wasn't too happy with how it came out. I think if I did it again, I'd probably leave this part out. All right, here's that magenta and the glaze medium. So again, gonna mix up glaze with this and I'm gonna use it to start highlighting the tentacles, uh, going for tips or kind of high points in the flow of the tentacles just to add some more contrast and interest to these. I didn't do this on the star spawn because the Zenithal highlight actually came through on that and it had some good highlights and shadows already built in and I didn't feel the need to push them any farther.
All right, I wanna bring back some of that shading that we had earlier. So we're gonna grab the Agridex Earthshade. Gonna hit this pretty heavy anywhere in the uh, under portions where it would have been black or gray and that the light um, doesn't shine very much on. And then I'm gonna do some uh, panel lining in all of the recesses elsewhere on the models. I'm gonna take some Reichlin flesh shade. I'm gonna put that in all the pustules that are in the highlighted portion of the miniature. Uh, the ones in the shaded portion all got Agrax earth shade with the rest of it. All right, here is what we're looking at at this stage in the process. I decided I needed some more panel lining in the highlighted area, so we busted out the Agrax Earthshade again and mostly worked on the wings and the shoulders. Star Spawn got wings, shoulders, and then most of the arms, and I did a whole nother run of panel lining on the horns too, just to really push that contrast and give some more visual interest to the, the monotone nature of the paint scheme at that point. All right, so I took that Higher Valley Magenta, mixed in a little bit of white ink and some glaze medium and decided to push the contrast on the tentacles even a little bit more hitting tips. And again, just more of the raised parts of the flowiness of the tentacles. All right, did a little cleaning up painted Cthulhu's base black for the Elder Gods, and I painted the Star, Son Star Spawn's base gray, because he's a monster, and I'm trying to be consistent with the game. And now, I think I just need to hit her with a matte varnish, and we'll be done. All right, and here is the final product, my attempt at both making a longer form video and doing some color glazing for the first time, and I'm pretty happy with what came out, learned a lot, and uh, I think this is going to be a good start to painting the whole Cthulhu thing. Let me know how you like the new video format. Let me know how you like the paint job. Let me know what you would like to see in the future as I'm going to be painting more Elder Gods. Till next time, have a good one.